Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you the five things you need to know to get started using Google Jamboard. I was recently asked if I had a video about the basics of Jamboard, and I didn't. So I decided to make this one. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, Google Jamboard is an online tool. There is also a Google Jamboard that's a physical item, but we're talking here about the online version of it, which is jamboard.google.com. And once you're signed into your Google account to create a new Jamboard, go to the bottom right corner and click on New Jam. And we're going to now title this one. And let's just call this one a Practice Jam. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call this one Practice Jam. Now, the next thing that you should know about this is that it works a lot like Google Documents in terms of sharing. So go to the upper right corner and you can share this with anybody you want to share it with, just like any Google document. So I can share it with Max and he can be an editor or a viewer of this Jamboard. So I'll send that off to Max and he can now be an editor and work on this with me. He can go over here or I can go over here and use the pen tool. And let's say I want to use blue and I'll use blue marker and there we go and now we can start to write on it maybe we'll make a little smiley face over here there's my smiley face now if I want to erase it we'll just use that eraser tool and here we go and we can now start to erase the face that I drew and the other thing you should know about Jamboard is that while I'm doing this all on one page, you can go and add another page up there at the top and you can start to add more. So let's go back to using the marker, use a different color. Let's use red and we can draw a square or something that's similar to a square anyway. But over here we have the option for a sticky note and say, this note is sticky and save it. And now it's on the board and we can drag it around, make it bigger. We can even spin it if we want to. There we go. And you have the option here to duplicate it. And now we have two sticky notes that are identical to each other. Now back over here on the left-hand side, we have some pre-made shapes, like a circle. And if I open that menu up even more, you can see, hey, there's a square. You can do a perfect square. Or I can go over here and even do one of these arrow shapes. And let's say with that arrow shape, I want to fill it in with green. And I'll go back up here and I'll make the border of it that different shade of green bluish color. And finally down here, we have a text box where we can just write some text. Now, if I want to clear this page, I can clear it entirely. You notice up here, we also have a background. I can use some of the grid paper, line paper if I want to. I can even go and add my own image to the background if I like as well. Now the last thing that you should know about Jamboard is that not only can you share it like a Google document, you can go up here and review the document's history just like you can with a Google document. You can download it as a PDF, you can save it as an image, and you can make a copy of the entire thing if you want to as well. And finally, if you want to share this with all of your students at once, you can do so in Google Classroom. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So in my Google Classroom, I can share that Jamboard as an announcement. And we'll say, let's jam. And we can go in here and Rather than uploading a file, I'll just add from my Google Drive. 
And let's go ahead and find the Jamboard via Google Drive that I want to include. There it is. There's my practice jam. And I'll insert that right into the post. But if I wanted to distribute it as classwork, I can do the same. And I could even make it an assignment. And I might say something like, please modify this Jamboard for your needs. I might say use this as a template for brainstorming. And again, you can go to my Google Drive and I'll get that Jamboard as our practice jam. And just like anything else in my Google Drive, students can view it, students can edit it, or I can make a copy for each student and then assign it to the class. So that's what you need to know to get started using Google Jamboard. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.